The state of Tennessee released this woman on a $150,000 bond because she is pregnant. Sarah, is that <laughs> enough to let this woman out on a bond? No, I am sick and tired of breastfeeding mothers and pregnant women who use I motherhood. I am too. I'm sick and tired of breastfeeding use, mothers. Who use motherhood as a get out of jail card. Well, now, I mean, look at minute. this. Pregnancy is not a bail factor. There are four primary factors that need to be considered whether somebody should get bail and how much that bail should be. The, at the top of that list is whether you're a flight risk. What is the nature of the offense? Is it a violent offense or is it a nonviolent offense? Sarah. Obviously, murder is at the top of that Sarah. list. What, the, there's, a, there's another human at risk in this case. Maybe it's to protect the pregnancy, to protect the child. But Dr. Drew, the child is not any way responsible for the mom's craziness. But, and I agree, but Dr. Drew, what about the men? What about the men charged? They don't get pregnant. Uh, correct. But and there's how, nobody there that but, they're responsible but for. But there are men who have terminal illnesses. That's like about it. them. This is about another life, I, which is I, the baby. I disagree. I think the that baby I, could I, arguably be safer in the jail. This woman is, a, is arguably a criminal and like we talked about earlier uh, the, the judges assumes guilt for the purposes of bail so the woman this woman is is nothing but determined and driven she's ambitious I would argue that the baby is probably safer in custody uh, fair than, enough. Of the fair enough. And our doc our, our prisons and jails are fully capable of handling somebody who's pregnant or has any kind of medical issue uh, you've been in the, the jail wards you ever been up there? Probably I, visiting his clients. I, I visited. I've seen my clients. And jail wards are pretty rough spots. These are the ones I used to work in back at the old county. Victoria, tell us more about how this woman got caught. Well, she got caught because her new boyfriend decided that he felt she might be coming after him. When she started talking about ways in which he could get rid of her ex-boyfriend. So when he caught wind of the fact that she was serious, Victoria, he started recording. Do we? Ha oh, he recorded it. Do we have any details about what she intended him to do? No, there were several different kinds of things that she considered doing to or having him do to her ex-boyfriend, uh, all of which would uh, end his life. And when it got to the point where the boyfriend, the new boyfriend said, uh, yeah, this isn't going to work out so well for me, he <laughs> turned around. Victoria, didn't, didn't she actually, it's one thing if you ask, but it, it appears to me like she, she was coercing the, the new boyfriend oh, into going and killing the ex-boyfriend. And then when he refused, she was asking for advice on how she could do it some other way, like finding an alternative, right? Oh, absolutely. Well, she she was bound and determined to do it. And by the way, she's a bit of a badass. She's a boxer and she's a former Marine. And so therefore she was not without some scruple, well, uh, scruples, I apologize, ways in which she could have done yeah, it. Yeah, she had, the, the, the one thing she did lack was scruples. <laughs> scruples. She had many, 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 <laughs> the many uh, skills at her disposal. Skills. Right. Yeah, I, I guess Huh, why didn't she just, why didn't, so, so let me get this straight. So she was actually thinking about doing it herself if her current boyfriend wouldn't do it for her, right? Well, she was willing to find somebody to do it for her. She figured that her boyfriend, her current boyfriend, would be a really great right. um, person to try to do that. Okay, mm -hmm. now to the neighbors and the community around this woman, this woman, Laura, the, the, perp, the alleged perpetrator, was a hero and a celebrity. She was on little magazine covers. She had two tours of duty in Iraq with the Marines. She opened a bakery. Take a look at this. She was one of those success stories that you like to hear about. You know, there's still people coming up here and, you know, trying to, trying to eat, bragging about her food and everything, her cooking and her baking. I started selling breads on the side of Highway 150 in Floyd's Knobs, and then I started selling at different farmers markets, and I just couldn't keep up with the demand. The last six months, you could tell she was under some stress. Incidents, let's just say. Uh, disturbances involving different uh, boyfriends. All right, now, according to court documents, Laura, or as she's coming to be called on this network, Hot Mom, was fighting with her ex-boyfriend over custody of their three-year-old son. How did that, Sarah, turn to a plot for murder? She just got fed up with going out there? Or? I, I don't know the details of what the custody battle was about, but... You know, she she decided it's it's serious enough that she needs to get rid of this guy. Troy, how are you going to defend somebody like this? This is all talk, Dr. Drew. We're punishing somebody for having conversations with her current boyfriend, you know, talking about how horrible her ex-baby daddy is. I'm you know, sorry, this is, but this is, this that's is why there's a you know, crime. I'd love to kill him. I'd love to think. Let's think Troy, about all the ways we could get rid of him. Troy, but there's actual murder and there's attempted murder. That's why she's charged with attempted murder, because she's just a step she away from She was talking about it. She was just talking about it. 
he met with a hitman. That's the crime of conspiracy. It includes talking about something, right? If you don't you really have a conspiracy. It. If you have an agreement. Really not only did he t she talk to the boyfriend, but then he introduced her to an investigator with the Tennessee Bureau of Investigation. Correct. And that, as an undercover agent, went in as posing as a hitman. And she had additional conversations in detail. And I believe she paid some of the money to that she investigator. She put a down payment. She put a down yeah. payment on this. this actually case. paid money to get the bad facts. 300 bucks or something like that. Just to hold, just to hold the murder. That is so, an act. What in more do you that need? We call that an act in furtherance of the conspiracy. Yeah. So not only have you laid out the conspiracy, how you want it to go, now you've taken a, 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 a overt act Correct. in carrying out the conspiracy. Now,